Welcome back, fellow streamers. In today's video where we'll take your video streaming experience to a whole new level using the incredible capabilities of Raspberry Pi. Today, we're going to build a device to combine the power of multi-destination streaming and multi-network bonding with a single Raspberry Pi. In our previous videos, we provided comprehensive guides for separately installing and setting up Raspberry Pi and Restreamer. However, today, we're about to take it even further by harnessing the combined power of both on a single Raspberry Pi. Get ready to witness the synergy of these two incredible tools as we create an all-in-one streaming device. Let's dive into the inner workings of our powerful Raspberry Pi setup, combining multi-network bonding and multi-destination distribution to optimize your video streaming experience. Step 1. Inputs, Video Capture and Encoding At the heart of our setup are the video capture and encoding components. In this initial step, we handle video capture and encoding using either hardware encoders or software-based encoders like OBS or vMix. The video source, whether single camera or multiple cameras or video files, is captured and encoded to prepare it for streaming. Once the audio video signals are ready, we proceed by sending them through the local network to the Raspberry Pi. This is where the magic happens. Our Raspberry Pi, equipped with its powerful bonding and streaming capabilities, comes to life. Step 2. Network Bonding The true magic of our setup lies in the process of network bonding. We're leveraging Speedify, an advanced VPN service, to combine multiple internet connections simultaneously. By bonding Wi-Fi, Ethernet, and even cellular connections, we maximize our upload speed and ensure a reliable internet connection. Speedify's intelligent load balancing distributes the data across the available connections, optimizing bandwidth usage for a smoother streaming experience. Step 3. Multi-Destination Distribution With Restreamer and Speedify working together, we achieve multi-destination distribution effortlessly. Restreamer acts as the bridge, enabling us to simultaneously stream our content to multiple platforms, such as YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and more all at the same time. All the video tutorials and guides mentioned in this video are shared in the video description below. Before we dive in, let's make sure you have everything set up correctly on your Raspberry Pi. Step 1. Raspberry Pi Setup Make sure you have a Raspberry Pi board with Raspbian or a compatible OS installed. If you haven't set up your Raspberry Pi yet, don't worry, Find detailed guides online or check out our previous video for a step-by-step -step setup guide. Step 2. Speedify Installation Likewise, if you need to install Speedify on your Raspberry Pi, we've got you covered with our previous video with detailed instructions. Follow them carefully to set up Speedify, optimizing your internet connections for a seamless streaming experience. Step 3. Restreamer installation, you can set up Restreamer on your Raspberry Pi in two ways. By visiting the official Restreamer website or referring to our previous video guide. Simply follow the provided guidelines to smoothly install Restreamer on your Raspberry Pi. Once you have successfully installed Speedify and Restreamer, your Raspberry Pi is now fully equipped for an incredible streaming setup. Now, without further ado, Let's proceed with our demonstration and witness the incredible capabilities of this all-in-one streaming powerhouse. For the convenience of connections, we've housed our Raspberry Pi in an Argon 40 V2 case. However, feel free to choose any case of your preference to ensure its safety and efficient cooling of the device. Now, let's begin by connecting the power cable to your Raspberry Pi. Just as we demonstrated in our Speedify video, attach the 4G network dongles and, if available, the LAN network cable. To achieve ultra-fast network bonding via Speedify, make sure to connect your Raspberry Pi with as many available connections as possible. By leveraging the power of multiple internet sources, you'll experience an optimized and reliable streaming setup. With this Raspberry Pi setup, a dedicated bonded network is created to transmit the audio and video signals. 
To ensure seamless communication and synchronization, it is essential to connect the Raspberry Pi directly to the hardware encoder or the computer handling software encoding via LAN cable. By establishing a direct LAN connection between the Raspberry Pi and the hardware encoder or software encoding computer, we eliminate potential network delays and ensure real-time transmission of the audio and video signals. If you need to connect multiple devices to the network created by the Raspberry Pi for streaming, you can easily distribute the network using a network switch. By adding a network switch between the Raspberry Pi and the other devices, you expand the number of available Ethernet ports, allowing seamless connections for all devices. To distribute the bonded network, establish a connection between the Raspberry Pi's Ethernet port and the network switch using an Ethernet cable. Now, connect the encoder and other devices to the network switch. By doing so, these devices will share the same network, allowing seamless communication and optimized performance. For the initial setup of the Raspberry Pi, connecting a monitor via HDMI cable allows easy configuration, especially when setting up Speedify for the first time. Before you power on your Raspberry Pi, ensure that you have inserted the micro SD card with all the necessary configurations in place. After switching on your Raspberry Pi, please be patient and allow it some time to boot up and initiate the necessary programs, such as Speedify. Additionally, keep in mind that the 4G network dongles may require some time to start up and establish a connection. Allow a few moments for the dongles to get fully initialized and ready for operation. Once your Raspberry Pi has finished booting up, Open the command prompt on the Raspberry Pi and type ifconfig eth0. When you run this command, you will see several lines of information displayed on the screen. Look for the line that shows the IP address of the Pi, which is indicated after inet adder. This IP address is essential for accessing the Raspberry Pi on the same network. Take note of this IP address as it will be useful for further setup and configuration. With the Raspberry Pi's IP address, you can remotely connect to its desktop via VNC for graphical control. This allows you to manage and configure Raspberry Pi through remote desktop access. You can also open the Restreamer dashboard on a PC connected to the Raspberry Pi network by entering the IP address followed by colon 8080 in the web browser and access Restreamer dashboard where you can manage your streaming sources, destinations, and other essential parameters. In our previous Restreamer video, we provided detailed instructions on how to send streams from both hardware and software encoders to Restreamer. Follow the same process to send the stream from your encoder to Restreamer on Raspberry Pi. Click the link to watch the video with the detailed instructions. Refer to the specific time mentioned in the video where this part is discussed. Open OBS and begin streaming to your Restreamer on Raspberry Pi, ensuring that you have updated the RTMP streaming URL of the Restreamer as per the instructions in the video. With Restreamer, you can effortlessly send the live stream to multiple social media networks and custom stream servers simultaneously. Our Raspberry Pi streaming setup with the combination of multi-network bonding and multi-destination streaming has proven to be a powerful and versatile solution. Embrace the possibilities of this all-in-one streaming powerhouse and elevate your content creation and live streaming experiences. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey, and happy streaming! If you have any questions or need further assistance with this setup, feel free to reach out to us through our WhatsApp link provided in the description. Alternatively, you can send us an email at gadgetspod.official at gmail.com. We are here to help and will be more than happy to assist you in any way we can. We deeply appreciate your support. To help us keep up our efforts and bring you more valuable content, please consider subscribing to this channel. Don't forget to like and share our videos with your friends and fellow streaming enthusiasts.